click the button, subscribe. The, the more brown it is, the better, obviously. <laughs> yeah, this one's nice and golden brown. Hi guys, so today I'm actually gonna have this video more of a vlog style than compared to before where I'm just sitting and kind of telling you about food because then I realize every day I'm always kind of eating something interesting and that's not really something I can make a whole length video about. So instead I'm gonna be doing vlog styles moving forward so that you can kind of get a peek into what I eat on the daily. And today just so happens to be Thanksgiving and we're gonna have it Filipino style. I'm not a huge fan of turkey. We are going to make some lumpia for Doug's family. Doug's my boyfriend. We're gonna make some lumpia for Doug's family and then we're gonna make some lumpia for our family tonight for Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm gonna go downstairs, help Doug out. Doug does know how to make lumpia. He's done it before. He knows how to wrap it and, and the recipe and everything. So he's got it handled. But I'll help him out just to show you that I can make it too. Here we have some carrots. This is gonna be very simple lumpia. So we have some carrots, we have some onions down here, and then we have celery. And then here we have some ground chicken, organic of course. And then this one is shrimps. So as you can see here, there's kind of some like red stuff. We took like the brains part of the shrimp and we kept it because that's what gives it all the flavor. So we just kind of, we tried to take as much of it as we could. Yeah, the brains add a lot of flavor. We're gonna put in the food processor. And put all the brains in there, that's important. The ground chicken. We're just gonna put this whole thing in here. So actually that's two pounds of shrimp, and this is one pound of ground chicken. We're just gonna keep one pound of ground chicken and then two pounds of shrimp. I'm just gonna cover it, I don't know where the lid is. All right, I know it kind of looks horrific to some of you, but I promise this is gonna taste really good. It's actually kind of heavy. It's three pounds at least. That's true. Well, I need to work out. It's like meatball. Yeah, it's like a meatball. Shrimp and chicken meatball. We're gonna add all the veggies in. So just pour them all in here. I hope it fits. Yeah! All right, so there's the onion, celery, and carrots, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna grind it all up. Alrighty, so that's what it looks like. There's that little piece of whatever. We'll grind it up later. So I'll just combine this. I don't know, hopefully it fits. Plop. Now I'm gonna put in the patis. The patis is what gives it its delicious umami flavor. You can just put in salt if you want, but it's not gonna taste as good, I promise you. Oh, this is fish sauce, by the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just kind of gonna eyeball it, because I've made this a few times before, and I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, I guess that's good enough. Let's see. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then I'm gonna add the eggs. And I'm gonna add some pepper here too. Oh, you know what I'm gonna add too? I'm gonna add some white pepper. <gasps> white pepper makes things taste mm -hmm. good, huh? Yeah, white pepper is good. Yeah, we're gonna add some white pepper then. I'm gonna add some of this white pepper. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of guesstimating. I guess that's good. Here goes the eggs. So we're gonna just pour this mush back into this bowl. Everything's all blended up. And this, we're gonna start opening this up. This is supposedly the best brand of wrapper, Menlo. Right, Quad? Yeah. Menlo, why is that? And the texture is good when it fries, because some of them it's too much like a pastry. Oh. It kind of puffs up a bit, okay. So you just kind of have to peel it apart because it's kind of sticking together. Don't rip it apart, I hate it when it rips apart. Just be gentle, but don't take your, don't take days either. Yeah, so we're gonna do that 30 times because there's 30 in this package. Here we got the oil heating up at a cool 450. Usually what I was used to is that we would cut these into fours and then we'd roll little ones, but we're kind of on a crunch time right now because he, uh, the, fam the Thanksgiving thing is starting pretty soon. So instead, I'm gonna roll a big one and then I'll cut it into three little pieces and I'll throw it in there. So I start off by kind of putting some meat along the edges over here. So I just kind of gather everything at the edge. And 
then I roll it up. Take some of this water and seal it, seal the edge. So when you wet it a little bit, it helps seal it, I guess. I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes not so well. Let's see how it pans out. Oh, that one's cute. That one's a perfect looking one. This one, not so much. Eh. Almost. Yeah. I think it's pretty hot. Yeah. But I'm gonna kind of spread it out, you know? So it's kind of <gasps> spread out around the... Yeah, I think that works better. I think I like that second one. I think I'm gonna do the same thing, except I'm gonna close the edges off so I feel better about it. So it, none of the meat falls out the edges, you know? Sample three, so let's try it like this. Let's close it off. Yeah, and then let's roll, roll, and seal. Oh my gosh, the Olympians are supposed to be tighter than this, but I'm a little like, I don't know, this is new. See it's sealed? Oh my God, this one's like, that full of meat. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look, they're turning golden brown. It's beautiful. Halfway point. They look extra fat because I think it's because we put too much egg and so the eggs start to expand. Oh, let's try one. Oh. Mm. oh my god. Oh my gosh. You can really taste the shrimp or you can taste some of the vegetables, celery and carrots. It's not overpowering. It's hot though. Here, you want some, Doug? You know what, even though they look kind of weird, they taste really good and that's all that matters. You can make fun of it if it looks funny, but you're not able to eat it. Wow! So this one's ready to fish out, as you can see. You know, it's nice and brown. It's cooked all the way. Look at this, this is two layers. And then layers. we have, sorry, I kind of messed up your order. Your, your beautiful matter. lineup, Doug. We have a whole other container. You take this with you on your journey. This is gonna make the lumpia perfect. You dip it in banana sauce, banana ketchup. It's slightly sweet, it's not gross, okay? It's like the sweet and spicy chili sauce, but without the chili, so it's just sweet sauce. It's really good. Take it with you. We actually had a second type of lumpia that mommy made. She pre-cooked it so that it'll cook faster. This one has scallops in it, right? Scallops and then vegetables. Ground pork, so ground pork and scallops. We got chicken joy for Thanksgiving. We got it because of this girl. It's better than turkey, that's for sure. Yeah. These are the lumpias from earlier. This is the big one with the scallops. And this is the one with the, uh, the shrimp and the chicken. Beef broth. Ooh, there's beef broth. It's uh, just beef broth. Yeah, I but think it's special. But it's special, because it's Thanksgiving. Good boy, Axel. Crush this in. So even though we didn't have the traditional Thanksgiving with the turkey and the stuffing and mashed potatoes and stuff, we're not gonna miss out on the pie. We don't have the traditional pumpkin pie, but our friend Megan, shout out to Megan. Thanks Megan for these Basque tarts. It's like a French tart. And in here there's mixed berries, there's some lemon, and then there's some almonds on top, if you can see that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm just gonna try it out, I'm really excited. Mmm, look at it. Oh my god. Oh my god, so I'm biting into the berries. You can tell there's like actual berries in there. It's so good, it's so tight. Like now I'm sad because I know I can't get it anywhere else. Like I can't just go like across the street and like buy it or something. Can I have your pie, Clillian? No. I should probably drink milk with this. Almond milk? Almond mm -hmm. milk would be really good for this. I want your real milk. Mm. My mom wants real milk, but that'll tear me up. Almond milk is good. Oh my god. And almond oh my god, milk look. is so good. Yeah, look how beautiful this is. Ah, thank you so much, Megan. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for this pie. And for mommy's lumpia and her spaghetti and her 
chicken and her beef broth and everything and I'm just so glad that everybody's here and able to make homemade food because it's the best you can't get that anywhere else mm. I think this is my first time having a bath I'm basking in the bath <laughs>